Hey YouTube, I'm so excited. I'm going to get to go to the golf course today and hit some golf balls with my sweet daughter, Avery. I couldn't believe it. She's like, hey daddy, let's go to the golf course. That's just music to my ears. And I'd like to give a special shout out to my main man, Eli Winfrey. Elijah, thank you so much for watching my videos. And I got a chance to look at your golf swing, which is pretty good. Now you fall into the same category that I fell into when I started my swing evolution. Uh, I have a term that I call a chopper um, and that's what happens when in my uh, description the shoulder uh, gets ahead of the hip. So in your case you're a left hander so it's when your left shoulder outraces your left hip. You actually want your left hip to be in front of your left shoulder. That's what's going to get us into that lateral side bend, the elbow drive, and really be able to get that forward shaft lean so we can compress the ball a little bit better. Um, but it's a really crazy thing because I would say that naturally only about 2 or 3% of golfers do this instinctively when they pick up the game. I think that almost 98% of golfers, the natural thing to do is to do the chop type swing which is what I did for decades. It's very unnatural for me to let my trail hip lead my trail shoulder, but that's what really needs to happen. And uh, I'm working on some drills right now to help me do this. And the thing is, in the last three months, I swear, I've learned so much about the golf swing. I really believe in something that I'm gonna call the unified field theory of the golf swing, that it's all gonna fall together. like. The classic swingers like Hogan and Sneed and these guys, they just got it. And it's obviously really complicated because there's millions of frustrated golfers. So I want you to do a little test with me. If you stand up straight and lean your right shoulder at your right hip, or if you're left-handed, your left shoulder at your left hip, if you lean over directly in a perfect line, you'll stop and neither one is moving. Now, if your shoulder goes slightly in front of your hip, you'll feel your shoulders round and you'll start to roll down to where you feel a crunch in your abs. This is what 98% of golfers do and this is why they get the hunchback, the goat hump and all the bad things. But you'll notice if you lean to your side and let your hip get slightly in front of your shoulder, then all of a sudden your lead hip will open up as your shoulders fall back. This is where you want to be. This is lateral side bend and this is not natural for 98% of golfers. But just understanding this is going to help you get to where you want to be. Where you've got lateral side bend. You've got elbow drive you've got forward shaft lean, and you've got compression. And this is what the pros make look so easy, is they've got this move down. And it's remarkable how much smack you can get on the ball just by letting the body fall into the correct position. It's amazing how much this is opening my eyes about the correct way to hit a golf ball. On the bright summer's morning, Willie and me, we went to court and found the moon had gone to sleep. So we waited there, down by the lee. Where are you going this fine summer's morning? All of you birds. Are courting, don't hurry now, Willie. You are me, darling. Wait out the moon as she sleeps through the morning. Willie said she, I am a roving through the hills and dales. I am a 
I'm a floating, but I'll wait for you down by the lee until you come. Telling me. <laughs> <laughs>